And the Supreme Court hears arguments this morning in a campaign finance case. It is the first of several major issues that justices will take up this term. Jan Crawford is outside the Supreme Court. Jan, good morning. What's on the docket? Well, good morning, Nora. Good morning, child. You know, I think this could be a term where there's just a controversy for everyone. They may not be on the same level as some of the cases we've seen in past years, like the one that upheld the president's health care reform law or the case that struck down bans on same-sex marriage. But we have got cases they're going to be tackling behind these doors this term that take on some of society's most contentious issues, like affirmative action, abortion protests, public prayers. And as you mentioned, that case today involving campaign finance that could affect big money donors. All of these cases, of course, could divide this court just as they've divided society. Think about the affirmative action case, for example. That's going to be argued next week. It involves a constitutional amendment from Michigan that voters passed. Now, if the court upholds that constitutional amendment, which bans affirmative action in college admissions, government contracting and hiring, that could encourage other states across the country to pass similar bans. So these cases really could dramatically affect American life. Uh, Jen, as you know, there were some peop what people considered victories for liberals last in the last session of the court. What are the will that change in terms of well, the the cut of these cases? Well, you know, that's right, Charlie. I mean, the, the health care case, that shocked everyone. I think this term, though, is going to be back on familiar ground. I would expect all of these cases to be wins for conservative. The question, of course, is just how big these wins are going to be. And when we think about the court, you know, it's closely divided. You have to look at Justice Anthony Kennedy, that key swing vote in the middle. He sometimes goes to the left on cases involving gay rights, but on cases involving race and abortion, he's a solid conservative vote. So the case Case involving abortion protests. That involves a law that sets up a buffer zone around some of these abortion clinics. The court has upheld those laws in the past. I would look for it to strike it down as a violation of free speech this term. That's just one example of, I think, the way the court's going to take a different approach this year. All right, Jan Crawford, thank you.